Hello everyone. At the southern shore of East Loch Tarbert in Argyll lays the ruins of a strategic stronghold during the Middle Ages called Tarbert Castle. In this video I'll be given a brief background on the structure, focusing mainly on the tower house which can still be seen to this day. If you zoom into the Google Maps satellite view, you can see the outline of Tarbert Castle. The castle, tower house and curtain walls were all constructed at different time periods. The main castle, presumed to have been a hill fort since at least the 7th century, became a royal castle in 1292. The extension of the existing castle and construction of the drum towers and curtain wall was started in 1325. The fortification and enlargement of the castle was ordered by Robert the Bruce. The tower house, highlighted in blue, is suspected to have been constructed after 1494, after it was captured by James IV of Scotland. The aspect which makes this castle so interesting is that there are surviving building accounts recorded in the Exchequer Rose of Scotland, which show that Robert the Bruce enlarged and fortified the castle. At the same time as these improvement works, other structures were constructed within the courtyard below, including a hall, a chapel, houses, workshops, and a brew house. There were two drum towers on the east side facing the sea, which were situated further down from the tower house that you can see here. Only two walls of the tower house now remain standing. The building was typical of a Scottish fortified tower, with examples of gun loops and arrow slits strewn around the walls. There is a vaulted basement area with a small window at each gable end. The window to the southeast gable looks out to the hillside. At the top of the building you can see the corner corbelled bartizan feature. At mid-level, an arrow slit. And below, the window that leads through to the basement area that we just seen. The structure is constructed with undressed winestone with dressed sandstone features, lime mortar and a rubble core. The form of the structure is similar to the likes of Saddle Castle, which was constructed around a similar time period. And if I just overlay the image of Saddle Castle, you can get a feel for what the building would have looked like. If we take a spin round back to the front of the building, you can see the internal walls. You can see the insets of where the timber joists would have been positioned, as well as a moulded fireplace on the gable end. And finally, the entrance to the tower house was in the corner of the building, which could be accessed through a small outbuilding seen here. Internal stairs and recessed apartments are contained within the external wall, which at some points is at least 1.8 metres wide. So, thanks very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, you can see some of the other videos, such as Green and Castle. Thanks very much for watching, and keep on learning.